in New Zealand, there's been an, uh, about an eight month labor struggle to try to get a contract, a labor agreement for the dock workers in, in Auckland, New Zealand at the container terminals. What we're learning is that dock workers, and especially organized dock workers around the world are under attack, all over the world. And the, the feeling is, is multifaceted that if dock workers in New Zealand are successfully casualized and privatized in their ports, then it will move to Australia, from Australia to Europe, from Europe to America, from America to the Far East. So it's just a general consensus that, that all dockers around the world are facing the same challenges. We feel like we're brothers and sisters around the world now through the ITF, the International Transportation, uh, Transport Workers Federation Union. Around the world, the, the dock workers have united to help each other when these struggles happen in any country. So in this particular case, the International Longshore and Warehouse Union, which I'm a member of, sent 16 rank and file members that represented the, the presidents and rank and file members from many of the locals on the West Coast. We are, we are not taking it lying down and we're in this for the, the long haul. Those workers are in it for the long haul. They are receiving financial support from unions around the world. Uh, we, we will be picking up that call soon probably. The bishops in, uh, in Auckland, New Zealand have asked to mediate between the uh, mayor of the city who, hire, who the council and the mayor hire the executive director. And uh, so, no, we're not taking this lying down and the fight is far from over.